All right, so we're gonna take the front end off of a Z06 real quick. My name is Brandon, and I'm the president of BBB Vets. Uh, started this company because there's just some simple problems that uh, GM is uh, failing to fix, so we decided to take it into our own hands to, to work on it. Grew up in the car business. Family owns a bunch of car dealerships here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we drive Vets, we drive them hard. We know what breaks, we know what has issues. Overheating is obviously an issue with uh, not only the Z06s, but the Grand Sports and even the Z51s and below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about putting heat exchangers in the front of the car, but first thing we wanted to show you is how easy it is to lift up a car in your driveway. So here we are in a driveway, nothing fancy. We just need a floor jack. With that floor jack, what we did first was we lifted right here at this lift point. We lift the car up, enough to put this one block underneath the passenger side tire. We don't bother with the driver's side tire. Once we have that wheel on a, on a block, we slide the floor jack underneath the car dead center, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift it by this beam right here. We throw a rag under there. Watch out for that bolt. You can see it there next to the rag. You don't wanna lift from that bolt and it'll probably tear it up. Um, so we dodge the bolt, lift it up there in the middle. And then we lift the tires up just a couple inches up off the ground. You can throw some jack stands in at this point, but all we're doing is we're going to lift this uh, um, car enough to take the front end off. So to take the front end off, there's these bolt holes that are underneath. Some of the bolts are already out. Um, some of them are, um, uh, what do you call it, the plastic rivets that you can detach. But we're going to take these, these bolts out that are basically along the bottom of this. But you want to leave this attached to this. So at least if you want to save yourself some time. So that's what we do. Again, sorry about the filthy car, guys. Um, so it's just a couple of these. Let me see if I can get this focused. Just um, a few of these bolts. And once you get those out, notice the wheels are cocked at a, uh, an angle here. So what you're going to do is you are going to then take these out that are right here by the turn signal. And this car is missing the spats. We take the front end off so often we don't have the spats on. This actually isn't my car, so don't crucify me, all right? This is someone else's. I came over to their house real quick in their driveway to show you how this all works. And um, so once you take those off, you'll see we have the, the hood already popped. And once you lift the hood, you've got these star bolts here along the hood that you're gonna take out. We've already taken out two, but then I said, wait a second, we should make a video about this real quick. So, anyhow, that's it. So once you do that, this here is gonna pull out towards us, and this here is gonna lift up. So you wanna get uh, something plastic that's not gonna scratch things up, and you're gonna to wanna to lift up on this and pry, and there's two clips, one, two, right here that stick down in, and you're essentially getting those clips up, and it takes quite a bit of force but eventually it just pops right up. You just want to lift straight up on this. And that's really all there is to getting the front end off. Um, the turn signal wires or uh, running lights, whatever these are. Um, it's got some uh, uh, rubber spray over it to black it out. But, um, and then there's the turn or the camera wires behind here as well that you have to unplug. But once you unplug those, then the front end comes right off. So it helps if you have a buddy to help you take the front end off. Uh, when it's actually coming off. That way one person can take the wires off. But it literally takes 10 minutes to take the front end of one of these cars off once you uh, understand what you're up to and what, what you're doing. Again, we turn the front wheels a little bit. That way we can get a wrench in here easily and we've got the room to get the wrench in here really easily. And what this is gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to get to these heat exchangers and also the cheeks of the cars. So. Hopefully that helps you out on how to lift one of these cars up quick to, uh, to get the front end off. 